feel like I've always been informed by land, the earth, uh, my observation of it. And, and uh, for me, it's like a meditation. Uh, it's a time to sort of let go of that internal chatter and just to be uh, present, you know, with, um, with where I'm at. And it's going through the woods and through the land that uh, sort of informs me. It's uh, not only observing and seeing what's going on there, but sort of letting it sort of speak to me. And um, I, I think it's that sort of curiosity about what is it, what, what's the song there, what am I missing, what am I not hearing that led me to look further into um, vibration, particularly sound vibration, when I saw uh, the work that has been done um, many years ago in cymatics and e even uh, more so currently, I think, being brought to the forefront through um, the sound healing work. Um, I, I wanted to find a way to bring that into my own work. There's an experiment that you can do, and it's taking a metal plate, sprinkling a fine coat of sand on it, and then running frequency up through there. And what happens is these incredible um, formations appear when you hit a certain frequency. Uh, as you change the frequency, the sand goes into what's seemingly a chaotic uh, event, and then you change the frequency again, and you get another beautiful shape that's even, if you're going up you know, to a higher frequency, you get a more complex uh, shape. Geometric shape, very mandala-like, uh, very much like shapes that you might see in nature. And um, again, this truly piqued my curiosity, and what I wanted to do was capture that, like handwriting, capture that in paper. And uh, so what I did was uh, use um, this particular time in the studio to create large sheets of paper, 25 by 25. Um, it was a, um, I used a couple of different fibers, cotton and abaca, blended them together and added some kaolin, which is like a clay, so a little bit of the earth in there, if you will. And, uh, and then used very different kinds of paper making processes, different um, uh, putting cooch, or they call it cooching, different sheets of paper onto it, doing different kinds of pulp painting, uh, uh, various techniques using circular patterns because of all the implications and um, wonderful symbology that circles carry with it. I used uh, circles as a base for my um, for applying the sand shapes onto the wet paper. Mm -hmm. 